This is Ryan Abraham, Dan Weber, uscfootball.com, instant analysis here on Cromwell Field, another USC players only practice, Dan. And we got to see some uh, familiar faces we haven't seen for a while. Andre Walker was around, uh, Lamar Dawson was here, a couple guys that we haven't seen much. And not to mention Deion Bailey and Marquise Lee. Yeah. Uh, a couple of the alums came back to see their old classmates. And Deion, I think, was over with the, uh, uh, the DBs and kind of looked at Josh and said, who are these guys? You know, so he, he recognized his buddies, but uh, <laughs> and there are uh, a lot of new DBs here. And I think Deion was like, eh. And Josh said, well, you've only been gone three months, but, you know, things change. <laughs> But yeah, Marquise Lee was out here too. Didn't, we, he wasn't participating or anything like that. But there were uh, there's a lot more wide receivers, I think, than he was around. Oh man, yeah, and you know they basically uh, held off till the end, and then they uh, ran a couple of three plays in a row for Juju Smith and and Adore Jackson, forty like about a 45 yard ball from the line of scrimmage that Juju, you know, went one on one and really adjusted well and kind of physicaled up and and a great catch. And then here comes. Uh, Adori in the next play, and I think it was like 48 yards from the line of scrimmage, so balls in the air, you know, 58, 60 yards. And uh, just a, a sensational leaping catch over Ryan Dillard, who was right there. Poor Ryan, he's always like right there. <laughs> he was the guy that was right there for uh, Nelson Aguilar's catch yeah. uh, last week. So, uh, but uh, uh, pretty uh, special stuff. I'm not sure if they've got that kind of time the way Cody said he, his arm is much stronger, it is much stronger. If they've got that kind of time and you've got one of those guys, it's going to be hard to play them one-on-one uh, -on -one downfield deep. I mean, they, they're they pretty athletic. It's Port, Port Dillard gets uh, posterized a couple of times. we got some pictures of that. He's right there, too. I mean, <laughs> he's in the picture. He's playing the ball perfectly. It's just when Adore goes up, he just keeps going up. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, The big thing was both of them caught the ball. I mean, it was boom, just like that. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty impressive. Depth-wise on offense, the one spot that seems a little uh, thin right now is at, at, at the running back spot. We're not seeing any uh, Justin Davis. We're not seeing any Trey Madden. So it's kind of like Buck Allen, Jaleel Pinner, and some walk-ons. Yeah, but I think the good news there is it's given Jaleel Pinner a lot of a lot of reps and a lot of chance to become that big back. Yeah. And I think that's uh, uh, that's a big deal actually for him to be the big uh, to be the big back uh, and getting a lot of reps. So you know it's good for Buck to get a lot of reps. It's good. Uh, Trey Trey wasn't here. Justin not quite ready to go yet. So you know you can make a you know a, you know the glass is you know half full and and you get a lot of reps for two really key guys because I think they really need a, uh, a defined big back and you know at 240 Jaleel gives him that and he does a lot of good things and they run a lot of stuff that that he's comfortable running. One last thing we got to see I think the, the middle of the defensive line might have been a little thin we saw a couple reps during 11 on 11 Damian Mama and Vianney Talamiavo lining up as defensive tackles. Yeah, I'm looking at him right now and uh, uh, they uh, it might be a you know preview of, of a, a little goal line, real real short yardage stuff. Who knows? I mean, a uh, as, you know as big and athletic and, and, and as good as uh, as the upperclassmen, the regulars are on on defense. Those two guys are. What did we figure the other day? That's about uh, <laughs> uh, 750 pounds of wow. uh, something like that uh, between the two of them. But looks like. Uh, they're, uh, they're, they're signing autographs tonight. <laughs> uh, they had a good time. Uh, uh, and that's the other thing about this team. They do seem to have a good time. Yeah. And you get a sense, this is a young team, though. And uh, it's, it, there's a sense about it is, huh, every night you see something maybe you haven't seen because you don't know all these guys that well. But uh, it's, it's kind of neat watching it. I'm watching Toa Lobodon go there. The more I watch him, the more I... He, he physically reminds you a little bit of Ryan Khalil, you know. Now that's a that's saying an awful lot, uh, but uh, he, there, you know, there's some real similarities there. So it's going to be interesting to see where this goes, you know, especially with offensive linemen who are freshmen. What I don't know. A lot of options. Damian Mom actually executed a perfect punt over here just before we started this interview. He's got some athleticism. Chad Wheeler tried to go line up on the defensive line, and Cody Kessler said, no, 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 starting left tackle, you're not going to play defense. I didn't. I missed that. <laughs> but, yeah, Chad's been uh, doing a lot of different, you know, and he's uh, running the kind of the O-line, D-line uh, stuff, and he was pulling guys out and pushing guys in there yeah. and giving lectures, and uh, he put a walk-on in against Leonard, and then he realized, no, 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 you can't come in. <laughs> And Zach Banner ended up going in there, but uh, uh, it's interesting to see how 
the the kind of new upperclassmen are starting to take over yeah. and say this is that. There's a lot of talk and a lot of back and forth uh, with guys working with guys and you know. Oops, I'm. If I'm watching, uh, my cell phone just got knocked over and Damien Mama just walked by. <laughs> and I was just watching to make sure uh -oh. it, it survived. Could that hold, <laughs> withhold 400 pounds? I'm not really no, sure. I don't think so. Yeah, so right. it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Well, that's going to wrap it up here from Cromwell Field. Instant analysis for uscfootball.com. Dan Weber, Ryan Abraham, make sure you check out the site, uscfootball.com, for more.